Good morning slash afternoon slash evening everybody. I am Southpaw Racer and this is a super serious track guide to the moto layout at Auto Club Speedway. A big infield means there's plenty of space to create a fun road course layout. But why do that when you can just use the infield road grid as a base? Genius! One lap around here is one too many, but it's what we're doing, so strap in. Bring a pillow to scream into if you like. Now, according to iRacing's provided track map, the first complex is a tight and slow chicane. So, let's get ready to work those brakes. Hard on the stop pedal, downshifting into second as we enter a... a as... as... Uh, all right then, the lap begins with a lane change. Make sure to use your indicator. Down onto the apron of the oval we go, following a preferred line that gets you dangerously close to the banking. Slow down while still turning, realize that your brake bias is way too far to the rear, and back it into this chicane that takes you onto the infield proper. Would you rather get on the throttle too early or too late? The choice is yours, and you have an opportunity to think about the consequences of your decision down this straight. Not for long though. It's time to misjudge your braking point and sail past whatever apex exists in this asphalt lake. According to iRacing's track map, this double left is followed by a straight line blast to a slow chicane. All right, let's gear up for- oh wait, wait, shit, no, 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 oh Ah, oh, okay, seriously, why? Why? Why mark out a route on the track map if you're not going to use it? Is this some kind of sick joke? When the references are inaccurate, you can't expect people to efficiently learn. All right, all right, you learn how it's different on your first outlap of this place, but it's about trust, man. I feel betrayed. Not least because the following hairpin is so difficult to psych anyway. After guiding your car to the apex with all the finesse of a Swedish army massage, it's flat out once again through a right-left flick that is completely inconsequential. Why is it even here? If you took it out, the line would barely change. It's pointless. I mean, maybe it did mean something when the infield route was built, but with flat curbs, tarmac shoulders and relaxed track limits, it has shrunken into insignificance, vestigial, like the hind limbs of a whale. An infield straight follows. According to iRacing's track map, you oh, <laughs> oh, you can't fool me this time. I'm on to you. We go hard into this one. A flat out sweep. Ah! Ah! You know what? I think I'm finished. I'm done here. Let's see, uh, you cut oh. the course. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gained. Oh, oh, really? Really? Listen, you snarky prick. Yeah, what, what? You think I don't know? Fuck you. Fuck you. How about I come in there into the pit box and rearrange your fucking jaw? They say you need to go to the hospital. You'll have to get into the bed and get yourself stitched up. All right. Let's rewind. Pick a breaking point any breaking point. The universe is large and uncaring, and we are all destined for oblivion. Do what you want. Second gear. Bounce off these curbs and scrub your front tires down to the canvas, trying to run these kinks in a straight line. Overshoot this left-hander and eat some cones. Your car is a growing boy. Finally, smash your shock absorbers, exiting a final turn that is just too slow to take flat. Oh, what's that? You missed pit entry? That's okay. You can always take the next off-ramp. 